2,500 people have registered for this conference. And that number speaks volumes. I think this afternoon is about our story, how our story can shape the future, our past can predict the future. It's extraordinary when you think of the challenges that we have in disease biology and the science of therapeutics today. And uh, then we talk about uh, innovative companies and service companies which will work together to make the life science industry greater again. Uh, well, this is kind of a, almost like a tradition for the JP Morgan um, you know, the satellite events. I've been here multiple times already. It's com a community. You know, we are able to have very engaged and open dialogue um, and interactions. We might have an uninvented category of $50 billion of drugs for the microbiome ahead of us. 2014, we've dedicated ourselves to the use of the power of genomics for infectious disease diagnostics. Disease has no borders. Therefore, Global Forum means that uh, you know, we bring the problems and solutions together and we complement each other on a global scale. The parents of a sick child anywhere in the world don't care whether the medicine they so desperately need is invented in the U.S., or in China, or in Africa, Europe, or Australia. They just want their child to be well. Wuxi is a great example that has been a platform to drive a lot of, to help a lot of innovations. In that sense, I think this is a truly a global forum and uh, ecosystem. Yes. Of course, it's always glad to come back to meet friends, shake hands, and uh, you know, to follow up, to catch up. You can feel it in this room, uh, the vibrations, uh, the excitement uh, is certainly palpable. Will 2018 be another history-making year? So the answer is, let's find out next year in the Wuxi Global Forum. Thank you. Thank you.